up nerds, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie. If you're new here, I hope your day is going well. And it's been a really long time since I've said that. I have been ill again and school and life and stuff have been happening. But now I'm here to film the intro to this video that has been ongoing since my birthday last month. This video was supposed to be up so much sooner, so I appreciate your patience on that. I have a cat who wants in the room, so I'm gonna go let him in. Do you wanna be in the video? Apparently not. So this video is going to be about my experience reading Bunny by Mona Awad. Now, I had heard about this book from everyone and their mother. Everyone loves it or hates it for that matter. Um, and I had started it originally uh, way back uh, I don't remember what year this came out, but I'm pretty sure I tried it that year. Got like one chapter in, did not vibe with the writing style, and gave up. So this year especially, I wanted to try and see what I could get back into when it came to this book. And there is a creator on this platform that I really, really like who loves this book, and that is Chloe Bunny or books with Chloe. Um, if you don't know her channel, I'm surprised, um, but also definitely check her out. She's fantastic. And I've been watching her for a really long time and her style with after she read this book and like recently has been just so cool and so interesting uh, that I really wanted to kind of dive into it. When I started reading this book, I had really no idea what I was getting myself into. And I would definitely recommend looking up trigger warnings before reading this book if you haven't been spoiled for it. Um, because this book is very graphic and this video will have some things that I will talk about regarding my own health that I feel like might be interesting to you guys regarding graphic content. Um, so obviously, bear that in mind. Um, but this book has a very specific vibe to it that I really wanted to kind of evoke in my own life. Initially, this video was going to be about basically the deadly femininity that Bunny as a whole kind of vibes out as, which doesn't really make any sense. I'm not really scripting this video if you couldn't tell. Um, but Bunny itself is something that I found to be very interesting aesthetically. There is seemingly a lot of just appreciation for the feminine. And as someone who has been struggling with my femininity over the course of the last three-ish years, I felt like I wanted to try and evoke that in my own life. So I chose to do several things for my birthday last month that would give me the feeling of being feminine and I wanted to see how I reacted to it, which is the point of the whole video, uh, but things went south quite quickly. Things changed dramatically and it was successful, but also mm, kind of not successful. But before I get into that, let me go ahead and take you back in time through the power of editing to my birthday weekend in February. <laughs> sooner. Huh? Like, I, I know y'all been telling me. I've been aware. I just haven't listened. Okay. You were right. Are you happy? So after a jaunt going through. I wanted to show you guys the books that I did purchase in this period of 
my birthday weekend real fast. So let's do a haul. I don't, I never do hauls anymore. So this is fun. Um, but these books are, as I said, a month old. Um, but I wanted to show them to you anyway. We have The Stolen Air by Holly Black. I uh, wasn't going to purchase this because I didn't love the ending of the Curl Prince series. And honestly, I didn't really love the Curl Prince series in the first place, but I have read this. And honestly, I'm glad I picked it up. There's no review specifically, um, but I think I am going to start doing wrap ups again on my TikTok. So if you guys want to see what I think about this, definitely check that out. It's linked down below. All right, a book that I have not gotten to, but I have been in the mood for since it dropped, but I've heard some things, is Chain of Thorns by Cassandra Clare. Now, I don't <laughs> care about the Shadowhunter series as much as I probably think people will think I do because I'm still reading these books. But Cassandra Clare's writing is just so nostalgic for me that I just like sinking myself into her work and then when I get out of the books that she writes, I go, oh, that was a fun time. I don't know why I spent so much time reading them. I don't remember any of the characters. I don't remember any of the plot lines. I remember liking the last book in this series relatively well, but I've heard once again, some iffy things on this one. So we'll, I guess we'll see how I like it after all of that. Yeah. But yeah, so this is the one that I picked up from Target. Obviously I got the fancy cover. I thought they didn't have it and I got real worried. All right, and then moving right along, we have The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi uh, by Shannon Shakraborty. This is one of my all-time favorite authors. I haven't gone to this one yet. I don't know when I'm going to, but I know that I will need to process this with all of the emotions available that I have, and it will be a fun time, I think. And also this cover is just fucking stunning. I, I'm so excited. Uh, if you've been following the channel a while, or if you've been, if you're on my Patreon, you know that I've been writing a, a pirate themed story for quite some time. And I am so excited that one of my favorite authors wrote something about pirates because I want to get back into that world, even though that is not the current writing project I'm working on. Because of course not. Why, why, would I, why would I try and finish the thing that I've been working on for years? No, that's just silly. And the last thing that I purchased over the course of that weekend, uh, book-wise, was... What is this called again? A Day of Fallen Night by Samantha Shannon. This is the prequel to Priory. Uh, once again, kind of on the same wavelength here. I remember nothing from Priory. I remember I liked it. There were dragons and lesbians and it was a fun time. I remember it taking forever. Um, and then this dropped. It's a prequel. I don't think you've had to read Priory before reading this. Um, it's a chunky boy. And I think that I'll do a video reading this in like a day, you know, like just cause I don't have time to spend just reading one book. Um, so I'd rather just take up an entire day reading it. But, uh, You'll have to subscribe for that because I don't know when that video is happening because you never know. I might fucking catch a sickness and then not be able to post for a straight up month. But yeah, so those are the books that I purchased over the course of that weekend. Back to the video. about Vegas is you never quite know when you're going to be in an area that's nice and when you're going to be in an area that is a little bit sketchy. And I'm in an area that is next to an area that's nice, but looks a bit sketchy. Don't know anything about this place. It seems to be a good place to go, but I'm going to let you know how it goes because I am undetermined at this moment. So I just got back from Pole and I was recognized for the first time just in the wild, I guess, um, for my channel. I don't know, it's affecting me in a weird way and I had a great time at the class. I was wearing the wrong clothing, um, cause yeah. Um, but I, I met a bunch of people that I think would be 
like really cool to, you know, talk with. And at least one person that I know goes to the classes. So I, <laughs> mission successful, I would say. <laughs> Sir, please. He loves it. You love it. Oh, yeah, I had butts. back so this is the same day don't think that there has been another violent jump from when we were last sitting down together uh, and from what you've seen but I do want to talk about kind of a little bit about what happened um, I ended up having a situation with my eustachian tube um, I don't know what a eustachian tube was but apparently if it gets clogged you hear a what I would like to call a Keebler elf inside your ear just popping and cracking for days and it does not go away and it was exceedingly frustrating and painful. Um, this like b basically set in after a dust storm that started on my birthday and then became more prevalent the weekend afterwards when I was hoping to finish this video. There was a bunch of things I wanted to do in this video. I wanted to go to the Velveteen Rabbit, uh, which is a cocktail bar here in Vegas that I have not been to. I wanted to do a whole bunch of things that have been now rescheduled as y you do when you're sick for like three weeks and you do not have the ability to reschedule things in advance like you did previously. Uh, so this video, albeit was not what I planned to post or planned to make, but I did have a enjoyable time constructing said video. And it's all a long story of basically saying, I really, really enjoyed this book. I know that this book is probably not everyone's cup of tea. It is wild and weird and fucked up in a lot of ways, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. And it honestly did help me kind of come back to myself in a lot of ways, even though I got ill right after finishing it and had a lot of trouble getting back into content and creating and all of that. But I am so glad that I read this at the time that I did because it really did help me in a lot of ways, which is weird because it's not really a help healing novel. Uh, it's very violent, but I really, really, really enjoyed it and thought it was done incredibly well. So that being said, that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. How are you guys doing? I know that my schedule has been all over the place regarding content, but I am really hoping that in the next couple of weeks that you guys get some uh, uh, good concrete shit coming from me. So if you liked this, definitely hit the like button, subscribe, all of that. That's not my outro. I'm going to go now. Like, subscribe, all good stuff. Bye! Stop recording, please.